Okay, the next step is to get the engine on the engine stand, which I've started here. You can see the lift. And I set it on the engine stand, but I'm a little worried about my quarter inch bolts holding up, so I, I just have all the weight on it, but I have the engine stand, or engine hoist, as backup for now. I'm gonna let it sit overnight and make sure nothing stretches on those bolts. I can only use a quarter inch here is all that fits through. And so these had to be three and a half inches long to get through my bracket. <clears throat> Here's some interesting goop coming out of the uh, drain hole. When I first took it out, it was just plugged. I didn't think anything would come out, but over the last few days it started to ooze out. Okay, back at it. Had to do taxes all day yesterday. <clears throat> I'm going to try to get this oil tube out. From everything I can tell, there's, it's just pushed in there, pressed in there. There's one bolt on the bottom I got out that ties it kind of the oil pan. And then I think I'll try to get out my <clears throat> new oil or water pump that I put in last fall just so I could drive it around. I painted it the color in proportion or in relation to its cost. And then uh, I'll probably take off the valve cover and hopefully the timing chain cover here. Okay, so the oil tube came right out. It is just kind of pushed in there. Here's the one bolt I already had out. And it was just wiggle and twist. Okay, the water pump, these nuts, I think are supposed to really be half thickness. This, these are the only ones I had when I put it in, but <clears throat> they can't back all the way off because they hit the pulley. I didn't remember this, but <clears throat> one bolt on the water pump, or one fastener on the water pump is actually a bolt. The other two are studs on the block, or not on the block, but the water pump casting. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to go for this, removing this pulley. <clears throat> got the gear puller, and this doesn't fit super well into the <clears throat> crankshaft end here, but I'm going to put a washer in here. <clears throat> Put a little oil on both sides, probably a little overkill, but just so it doesn't mar anything up and that, that end piece can turn freely. Okay, here's the gear puller on. This is pulling off very easily. I was a little worried about bending up the pulley with this approach, but <clears throat> it's coming off very easily. Just got to watch this tab for the timing. It doesn't get bent by the jaw. Okay, timing cover is off. There's two alignment pins. One of them is still in the, on the cover right there. The other one is in the block right there. <clears throat> and there's the tensioner. And then I really want to document is this you know, oil slinger <clears throat> to help partially keep it from leaking oil. It's concave and the uh, dished in as I look at the crankshaft just so I know how to put that back together correctly. And now I gotta try to figure out the timing marks, make sure they're lined up right or that I know how to put it back together. Okay, so I was checking the timing of the engine and there are some faint marks on mine. I'm sure it won't show up on the camera, but there is a mark on this almost an arrow on this gear that points to a tooth on this gear when I have it lined up right. <clears throat> the procedure in the book to line it up correctly is to get these last two rocker arms so that if you turn the wheel slightly, the pulley slightly either direction, those move. Which I did. And that should have the uh, woodruff key down, which it does. And then those marks lined up. So I think I know how to time it put it back together and the distributor is pointed at the number one cylinder. So now I'm going to tear it apart. <clears throat> 